Hey there, Elliot here. So you've run into the infamous iPhone lock to owner message, also known as the iCloud activation lock, and you're pulling your hair out trying to figure out how to get rid of it. I bet you've seen some flashy ads promising quick fixes, maybe some costly software or service, right? Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't need to go down that road. Yes, they might work, but there's a super straightforward, safe, and completely free way to remove the lock and it's faster and guaranteed to work for your iPhone, iPad, or even Apple Watch. You heard it right. So stick with me because in this video, we will walk through some cool legal tricks to bid goodbye to that annoying lock screen message. Hang in there and let's get started. Let's keep this straight, folks. This guide is for folks who honestly own their device but need to find their login details. We're not here to help with anything shady like cracking a stolen device's security. It's all about respecting the rules and the rights of others. Our video follows YouTube's guidelines and community standards. Now that we've cleared that up, let's move ahead. There are some excellent tools out there that can help you. Now this is just me giving you the lowdown on what I believe to be the best options to get you out of this pickle. First off, there's Safe Unlocks. This web app is super easy to use and it's all about safety first, just like its name suggests. I remember my buddy Jake used it once when he was in a similar jam and it worked like a charm. Then we've got Lock to Owner. This little gem is perfect for those iPhone Lock to Owner situations. It's reliable, efficient, and saved the day for many folks. Up next, we have the iUnlock app. Now, I can vouch for this one personally. I got my hands on an old iPad my dad couldn't remember the login for, and iUnlock got it up and running in no time. Last but definitely not least, there's Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. This one's a real game changer. It uses AI to help you unlock your device. It's pretty cool, right? Now, don't rush off just yet. In the next step, I'm going to show you how to use Unlock Here's AI unlocking assistant, and trust me, you don't want to miss it. So stick around. Just a heads up, folks, these unlock services are mostly accessible in first world countries, but don't worry if you can't access them or prefer not to use them. We've got great news for you. Every week, we offer 250 unlocks for our fantastic viewers. Want in on this? It's as simple as one, two, three. First, hit the like button on this video. Next, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Finally, comment below with your device model like Samsung S9, IMEI, and Country. Once you've done these three steps, you're automatically entered. Easy peasy, right? So go ahead and get commenting. All right, let me take you through the steps. First off, open up your browser on your phone or your computer. Type in unlockhere.com in the address bar and hit enter. This website is a super handy AI assistant powered web app, perfect for helping you unlock any mobile phone restrictions. Next up, you'll meet Nifty, the AI bot. Just let Nifty know that you need an iCloud unlock. You do that by clicking on activation lock. When choosing your device, most of us will be unlocking an iPhone. But guess what? You can also unlock your iPad or Apple Watch here. So select the right one for you. Now, it's time to enter the IMEI or serial number. You might be wondering, what's the difference? Well, all iPhones have an IMEI, so if you're unlocking an iPhone, that's what you choose. Some iPads and Apple Watches also have IMEIs if they have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity, but most of them don't and they'll have a serial number instead. To find this, just press the sleep button on your locked device, press it again, and then tap on the I on the bottom right. And there you have it. You've got your device info. Make sure to input your device information in the next step. Then you'll need to enter some basic info to attach the order to your account. It's important to use your accurate information here as you'll get a confirmation code sent to your email that you'll need to verify. Next, confirm that you agree to the terms and that your device isn't stolen. Solve the quick captcha to prove you're not a robot and then tap start process. Check your email for that confirmation code. Sometimes it might land in your spam or junk folder, so give that a look too. Grab that code and head back to the Unlock Here website. Enter it, confirm once more you're not a robot, and there you go. Your unlock has started and your device will soon be free from restrictions. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone lock to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone, and as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it'll be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked, so it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. 
And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. And that's all you need to do. Now don't click away just yet. Another method is coming up next for folks who might need a different solution. Stick with me. All right, guys, let's shake things up with some alternative ways to kick that iPhone lock to owner message to the curb. These are totally legal and easy to follow. The first method at our disposal involves the original owner. If you're lucky enough to know them, they can remove the activation lock by entering their Apple ID and password. They can do this remotely via iCloud, which is super convenient. Next, if you've bought the device and it turns out to be locked, you may want to reach out to the seller. In most cases, they would have no reason to withhold this information, especially if it's an honest oversight. Now here's an interesting fact. Did you know that Apple can remove the activation lock as well? You'll need a proof of purchase and some patience as it could take a few days, but it's a legit option. Lastly, if you need to remember your login info, Apple offers an account recovery process. It might require security questions or a secondary verified email address, but it's worth trying. In conclusion, iPhone lock to owner or the iCloud activation lock isn't the end of the world. With a bit of patience and the right approach, you can unlock your device and keep things rolling. But hey, we've got more tips and tricks lined up for you, so don't forget to check out our next videos.